Volcanic eruptions are a natural disaster. The magnitude and ferocity of these explosions are unimaginable. Keep watching to learn about the deadliest and most powerful volcanic eruptions. In this video, we'll compare volcanic eruptions throughout history regarding their power and magnitude of the explosions. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell for notifications. Gentle, Mount Sunabu. Plume height, two kilometers or 1.2 miles. Tephra released, 0 0.005 kilometers cubed. Frequency, daily. Volcanic explosive index, VEI-2. Mount Sinabung is a Pleistocene to Holocene stratovolcano located in North Sumatra, Indonesia. On January 4, 2014, this volcano erupted again. This eruption caused the death of 15 people due to the pyroclastic flow. Mount Sinabung on January 4 was recorded as a less threatening explosion with a VEI of 2. Hence, this is one of the small-scale eruptions to start from. Catastrophic Mount Antake eruption Plume height 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles. Tefer released 0 0.05 kilometers cubed. Frequency every two weeks. Volcanic explosivity index VEI 3. The Mount Antake eruption happened before noon on September 27, 2014. This eruption was the biggest in Japan since 1902. Claiming a total of 62 lives, this volcano was recorded as a level 3 on the VEI. According to a paper published on Springer Open, the ballistics block's mean landing energy due to the eruption was as high as 10 to the 4th joules. Cataclysmic Mount Pele eruption Plume height 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles Tefra released 0 0.08 kilometers cubed Frequency once every two years Volcanic Explosivity Index VEI-4 Mount Pele is an active volcano site in the eastern Caribbean region. It produced the most powerful eruption of the 20th century on April 23, 1902. This volcanic eruption is remembered as the deadliest eruption of the 20th century, taking about 30,000 lives. The pyroclastic flow caused by this eruption alone killed over 800 people. The 1902 eruption of Mount Pele is known for its sheer ferocity and catastrophic aftermath. Paroxysmal, Mount Vesuvius eruption. Plume height, 15 kilometers or 9.3 miles. Tephra released 3.3 kilometers cubed. Frequency, once every 12 years. Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI-5. The Mount Vesuvius eruption in 79 AD remains to be one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions in southern Italy. The magnitude of this eruption was so huge that it destroyed the whole city of Pompeii. It's hard to find written records of this eruption, but it's estimated that the eruption caused up to 16,000 deaths. As a level 5 eruption on the VEI, the Mount Vesuvius eruption had a massive plume height of 15 kilometers. St. Helens eruption, plume height 15 kilometers or 9.3 miles. Tefra released 4.2 kilometers cubed. Frequency once every 12 years. Volcanic explosivity index VEI 5. The 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens started with volcanic explosions and pyroclastic flows getting intense by May 18th. The Mount St. Helens eruption of 1980 was a massive volcanic event, with violent activity recorded as a level 5 on the VEI scale. The magnitude of the explosion and the ash formed by the pyroclastic alone caused a total damage of $2 billion. It's one of the most destructive volcanic eruptions in the U.S., killing over 50 people and thousands of animals. Colossal. Mount Pinatubo. Plume height, 20 kilometers or 12.4 miles. Tefra released, 10 kilometers cubed. Frequency, once every 100 years. Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI-6. The eruption of Mount Pinatubo on April 2nd, 1991, was the second most powerful volcanic eruption of the 20th century. Mount Pinatubo, located in the Philippines' Luzon Volcanic Arc, saw the most vigorous volcanic activity between 1991 and 1992. Since then, Mount Pinatuba hasn't shown much activity. However, the eruption of 1991 also proved to be one of the most lethal volcanoes, killing 350 people instantly in the explosion and hundreds more due to the diseases that broke out. Moreover, the intensity of this eruption was so huge that it left more than 200,000 people homeless. Novorupta eruption. Plume height, 22 kilometers or 13.7 miles. 
Tefra released 15 kilometers cubed. Frequency, once every 100 years. Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI-6. The Nova Rupta eruption of 1912 remains one of the largest volcanic eruptions of the 20th century. The massive volcanic explosions ejected an estimated 30 cubic meters of debris and ash into the environment. These eruptions are responsible for sprouting Katmai Caldera and the Valley of 10,000 Smokes into existence. Fortunately, due to its remote location in the Alaskan Peninsula, the volcanic eruptions of Novorupta caused no recorded deaths. With a volcanic explosivity index of six, this eruption has been studied extensively by geologists for scientific purposes. Krakatoa eruption, plume height 25 kilometers or 15.5 miles. Tefra released 25 kilometers cubed. Frequency, once every 100 years. Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI-6. The Krakatoa eruption of 1883 is one of the biggest and deadliest volcanic explosions of the 19th century. On Sunday, August 26th, the deadly volcano was initiated and reached a climax by August 27, 1883. This eruption is responsible for killing more than 36,000 people, with hundreds dying in the immediate blast and thousands more by the tsunami the eruption caused. The volcanic eruption of Krakatoa was so powerful that it had a considerable effect on the global climate. Once the eruption stopped, 70% of the island of Krakatoa was destroyed, turning it into a caldera. Super colossal. Tambora eruption. Plume height 40 kilometers or 25 miles. Tefra released 160 kilometers cubed. Frequency once every 1,000 years. Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI-7. The Tambora eruption began on April 5, 1815, with small tremors and pyroclastic flows. A shattering blast blew the mountain apart on the evening of April 10. In the overall aftermath of this eruption, 10,000 islanders died and about 35,000 lost their homes. The Tambora eruption is recorded as the most recent VEI-7 event. This eruption caused a drop in the global temperatures and disrupted climate conditions for years to come. The tephra released by this explosion was huge and powerful. Supervolcano. Toba super eruption. Plume height 120 kilometers or 75 miles. Tephra released 2,800 kilometers cubed. Frequency once every 100,000 years. Volcanic explosivity index, VEI 8. The Toba super eruption is estimated to have happened 75,000 years ago at the present-day Lake Toba in Sumatra. This would have been the most powerful and destructive volcanic eruption on planet Earth. Although the impact of this eruption is disputed, it's estimated that the Toba eruption caused the extinction of all the hominin groups outside equatorial Africa. The eruption is estimated to have caused a 5 degrees Celsius drop in global temperatures. Earth suffered through a 10-year global winter after this eruption. The Toba volcanic range is still active today, but hasn't shown any such activity since 74,000 BC. This has been a look at the deadliest volcanoes in history. If you liked the video, drop a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos.